Good morning, good morning. How are you, beautiful sister? I hope you are having an amazing day. I'm just starting. Whew, I fell asleep last night watching a movie. I've been having my period off and on ever since I installed the IUD inside my uh, private part. The doctor did it about two months ago and I keep having my period like three days then they stop and I'm fasting back to fasting the following day I have my period again I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on last time when I had the IUD in, in, inside I had no issue with my period I didn't see them and I didn't have my period for almost a year and they just came back now I, out of nowhere I was like shocked but then I talked to the doctor she said it's completely normal sometimes it just actually would bring the periods back and off off and on so but it's so so annoying I know everything comes from God that's how I believe as a Muslim but I, I'm so looking forward to fasting every day and I can't because when we have our period, we females, we women don't fast. We are not allowed to by God to fast. So I'm missing out on fasting this month of Ramadan. By the way, if you knew, sorry, <laughs> my name is Niyama. My friends call me Nia. I was born in Senegal, West Africa. I was raised in South of France. The city is called Aix-en-Provence. Check it out. Google it. On YouTube it's a beautiful city in the south of France and now I live in New York City with my four children my amazing kids that sometimes drive me crazy <laughs> especially the the boys but you know kids are a test and a blessing from God Allah so I, I accept it and I like God Almighty never makes a mistake everything happens for a reason so even our children that are making it sometimes quite difficult to be a parent to them. It's challenging being a mom and being a single mother, being a single parent and living here in the West in America, it can be quite challenging. I remember one of my sisters, she lives in France. She said, I don't know Nyama how you do it. I have only one and <laughs> it's challenging. <laughs> she says, you're a super mom, you're a super woman because you have four. <laughs> Yeah, it hasn't been easy. I had my share of crying, of wanting to give up so, so, so many times. But then I remember God never gives you a burden that you cannot carry. Everything is perfectly measured, perfectly designed, perfectly measured. God gives kids to the people that he has planned, he has decreed, he has willed. To give children now whatever the parent the person in charge of the kids do does that's between them and god of course you have parents that abuse their kids it would be on the day of judgment they would be accountable for that but ultimately people choose their actions and they would be accountable and rewarded for their actions either bad or good according to god those actions will be measured on a scale. So you better have your balance of good deeds higher if you want to have eternal bliss, eternal blissful life with God and his angels. That's what we Muslims believe in Islam, that whatever we do, whatever we say, eventually we will be rewarded for we will have our recompense with God. So no action is wasted. No action. No action is wasted. I was letting the person pass. So I, I was honking. Such a gorgeous day, April 7th, 2023. 20, I remember in 2012, April, Either April 7th or April 8th, I got my New York City, New York State driving license. 
I remember the, the guy, he was an elderly white person, maybe in his 60s, early 60s. He wore, he wore glasses, he sat right next to me in his car, and um, I drove, it was in uh, Red, Red Hook, I think the neighborhood in Brooklyn, here in New York. I was driving okay, I felt comfortable, you know, because I've been driving since I was age 21 in South of France and in England when I used to live in Manchester. So I was comfortable driving, but I, um, he asked me to park, to show him how, how to park. And um, I parked too close, too far, sorry, too far from the curb. So he took. In half a mile, take a slight right turn to merge onto FDR Drive South. He took five points <laughs> out of my license I was just grateful that I passed <laughs> I was just just grateful that I passed because that was a lot of money for me at the time in 2012 I was still struggling financially and I, I didn't want to pay again to retake the test and to take a driving license and, um, lessons all of those so I was super grateful and I remember even though I was struggling at that time I even paid for my ex-husband driver license yeah I paid for his lessons and uh, he failed the exam the first time and then after that he was on his own financially as I like you paying <laughs> you paying for your own extra lessons and then the second time he he passed so yeah he has his travel license because God wanted him to have it but I did pay for I paid for a lot of stuff for him for my ex I, I actually helped him for the first three years that we were together we spent five years together as and wife and then I divorced I filed for divorce and I got divorced in 2016 I'm so happy I did it and uh, yeah today it's 2023 a lot of things happened after that marriage, after that divorce. And it just proved that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I am stronger today, thanks to everything I went through, all the hardships and the struggles. If you examine and study wealthy, successful people, mentors, leaders in this society, you will notice that they became better, more influential human beings thanks to, due to, because of their hardships and their struggles and what they went through. Because they inspire other people to go out there and achieve their goals and keep fighting and not giving up. Because if everything, it comes just like that and it's easy and there's no hardship, well, you just have it easy and you just get it done and it's done. But when you keep encountering hurdles after setbacks after struggles it builds up it start bringing some more courage into you some more resilience into you and you just grow even stronger and more patient and more understanding of the fact that this life will break you or make you and it's all about the mindset, what you put in the mind, what you think, what you think about yourself, what you tell yourself, who you are, what you are, what you're capable of, how you can go out there and accomplish great things and make a difference in people's life and leave an impact, a positive impact in others' lives. This is what champions, legends are made of if you study them. Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Martha Luther King Jr., Maya Angelou, even the celebrities that we call today stars, the movie stars, the singers, the rappers, artists, they all went through football players basketball players they all 
most of them they all went through so much so many hardships abuse mental illnesses drug addiction alcohol addiction so many of them still struggling to this day but you wouldn't know because a lot of them they hide their pain they hide take a slight right turn to merge onto fdr drive south they hide that particular part of their life of themselves but you still get to learn about their struggle about their hardships eventually in 5.9 miles take exit 5 toward williamsburg branch and east houston street some of them will end up writing a book or creating an online course a master class some of them will go out and start um, being on stage speaking at events going to venues encouraging teenagers to not give up to not go on drugs to not start drinking alcohol some of them will go to churches to universities some will travel the world Africa to Asia to Europe and just bringing awareness of whatever they went through that they conquered so in the end it's positive it's a blessing in disguise even though it's hard it's painful it comes with so much suffering mental suffering trauma but still blessing in disguise that's how I see this life because God said that this is a gift out of his love and mercy and compassion. He has given us life. He has allowed us. He is per permitting us to live here on planet Earth. Because we came from heaven. We were created there in paradise. The first man and first woman, Adam and Eve. In Islam, we call them Adam, Hawa blessed pious wife our first mother they both came from up above from the seven of the seven heavens and they ended up here they came down here as adults not like us we came out as tiny little babies they were fully grown they were adults and God kind of shipped them here just dropped them here I think they were dropped off in Africa. Hawa was in Africa. I think I heard a, a religious scholar say that our father Adam was sent down to India for some reason and our mother in Africa but they ended up meeting up. I think be a possibility i'm not sure i need to do some research on that i heard that once and i'm like oh wow okay interesting and um our mother had many pregnancies by the way she had i think 100 pregnancies and every time god had blessed her with a set of i'm sorry two sets of twins i think she would have four babies inside her if i remember correctly or she would have one set of twins, a girl and a boy, and it would always be a girl and a boy. And because at the time it was just the two of them, right? Our parents, Adam and Eve. So when she get pregnant, first set of twins, let's say it's A and B, right? Girl, A, boy, B. So A, B, when they start growing up, then another set of twins will come again, a female and a male, a boy and a girl. It would be C, D, right? Right? So, A, B, C, D now, right? So, once they have age, A will marry for the other set, which is the set of C, D, right? Marry the male. And B will marry, let's say, the male in C, D. I mean, the, the male is D in C, D. So, the, the B will marry D 
we go to the be with Mary C. And C would be the girl. So this is how humans started populating. So it's called nowadays we call this incest, right? Because it's the same same family blood. But after a while, after there were enough human beings, then it goes further down and then you no longer marry your brother or your sister, if you understand what I'm saying. So we are not allowed in 21st century nowadays, being billions of people, millions of people, millions of choices to pick, to find a, a decent and compatible spouse you are not allowed to marry your brother, you're not allowed to marry your sister. But in Islam, we are allowed to marry cousins. It's very rare though, but you still have some families, some communities that still practice cousin marriages, like in Africa and some part of Southeast Asia, I think they still practice that. But even Christians, Jewish people, well, maybe less Jewish people, I'm not sure. I haven't really studied their, their culture that great to be certain, but I know they are white people, or I call white people, Caucasian people, European people, American people that marry their own cousin. So, yes, so that was uh, amazing. In two miles, Take exit 5 toward Williamsburg Bridge and East Houston Street. That was amazing for me to learn. I love history. I love learning, especially when it's facts, true things. I love that. I'm just so curious about everything in life. I've always been that type of person, always wanting to learn. I'm always learning. I mean, online, reading articles, studying, reading books. I used to read often years years ago I had hundreds of books at one point I was selling books actually I started selling in the street I was a street vendor and that's how I bought my first washing machine my daughters at the time I think they were like four three years old four years old and two girls and now they are 21 and 20 time went so fast Yes, I went through so much, a lot of hardship, a lot of struggles, financially, emotionally, mentally. Being a survivor of domestic abuse, narcissistic abuse, I, I was so ashamed and I used to hide my pain, my abuse, and be so embarrassed to share my story and tell, but now, no more. No more. I want to be out there and help so many victims that can't talk so I want to be the voice of the voiceless I am the voice of the voiceless I am studying and being trained to be a public speaker and my mentor Jen Gottlieb um, we had an Instagram and a Zoom meeting about a week and a half ago and she was telling me and training me and teaching me to say I am a public speaker you need to say the word um, in the present tense, I am a public speaker. So your brain doesn't know the difference in future past. Use the right lane to take exit five toward Williamsburg Bridge and East Houston Street. So it's the moment, the present, right now. You have to focus on that because the brain doesn't know the difference. So whatever you put inside, it, that's what it would go with your subconscious. So you just say, I am, and you keep affirming it, and confirming it, I am, I am, I am a public speaker, I am a wonderful woman, I am a powerful woman, I am a generous person, I am beautiful, I am... Take the exit, then turn right onto East Houston Street. I am fabulous, yes I am. <laughs> so you in the mirror, believe it, achieve it, claim it, and it will be yours. It is At the light... Yours turn right onto East Houston Street. That's how you have to see this life and everything that you want to achieve. It's here. You got it already. It's possible. It's yours. I am fabulous. I am making a difference. I am helping people. I am saving lives. 
by sharing my story and letting people know that this too shall pass it can be done i am doing it i am a role model i am being a positive example to my children to my church to my community to the teachers out there to everyone that want to be their best life that want to be the best in 1.8 miles turn right onto hudson street that's it that's how you have to think and see it see it believe it claim it achieve it it starts with the desire let's say you want to lose weight go out there exercise go out walk even if you cannot run like me i used to run jog right now i can't because i have a broken left knee it still doesn't stop me from staying active from exercising from walking i still can walk i still have my two legs and they are functioning properly thank to god allah thank you alhamdulillah praise the lord that's alhamdulillah means all praise be to allah that's in arabic alhamdulillah so yes walk drink more water don't drink too much also because sometimes it's not good i think uh, they mentioned years 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 ago that there's a person that died because he drank too much water so have you noticed when you drink too much water Anyway, too much of anything will make you sick, will make you uncomfortable inside. But I notice when I drink too much water, I feel so, so bad inside. I feel like I'm getting sick. So yes, yeah, so go out there. I'm going to buy some weight because I always wanted to. I used to go to the gym on a regular basis. I used to live in England and at one time, I worked in a hotel industry. At one time I lived inside the hotel and the hotel had a gym. So I was always active. So I'm going back to getting some weight and these muscles are going to have to get developed better because I lost enough weight where I feel now more confident with my body and I'm not so insecure like I used to with my body being the way it is. And I'm 49 so of course I'm no longer in my 20s or in my 30s in my early red light camera ahead i'm now almost 50 <laughs> almost 50 years old wow i'm half a century subhanallah glory be to allah that means in arabic glory be to allah subhanallah so yes if you want to lose weight or if you want to gain weight some people want to gain because that's what they need that's what they want so you go and do the actions that will take you there to your destination to that goal that you want to achieve so you go out change your diet you need to control your your desire to eat whatever you want to eat at certain period of um, of time in your life you have to realize that of course you like certain things but they might not be good for you so you stay away it's all about controlling yourself self-restraint and just discipline discipline is one of the keys consistency is another key to success to achieving your goals you need to repeat your good habits you need to keep doing things that you know will take you where you want to go where you want to be health-wise mentally emotionally physically it's your well-being that's your fitness your wellness it, it comes first so discipline consistency be focused be determined and be committed i will say those five discipline consistency be focused be determined and be committed committed commitment it's like in relationships if you are not committed well your mind and your heart are not into the relationship and what you're going to do you're not going to do what you need to do to keep that relationship and you might lose that relationship because maybe your partner is not saying that you value them that you appreciate them and they will say well what the heck why am i waiting 
<laughs> for why am I staying with this person? That person is not committed to us, to this relationship. I'm wasting my time. And that's why a lot of people end up divorcing, end up leaving. And they have the right to do so. So remember, discipline, consistency, focus, determination, commitment. I'm going to make a video, that would be my next episode, I guess, for the podcast, where I'm going to, in detail, speak on all those five keys, super important. Discipline, consistency, focus, determination, commitment. Yes. Alright, let me uh, get off this video. Focus on the road. I'm almost at my destination. Today I'm going on 8th Avenue. I'm going to be on standby driver and just waiting. So if there's an order for me to go deliver some lunch, then I'll go. Otherwise, I'll just sit in my car, be on YouTube, scrolling and learning. <coughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And then um, I'll be done for the lunch. I'm doing lunch shift. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday was great. I took that lady back home from her. She had a surgery, I think. Cancer patient. Um, today, oh, today I have a surprise for my, uh, my 10 years old son, little Eddie. He turned 10. March 15th, so I have a big surprise for him. I know he's gonna be excited, fired up, <laughs> inshallah, God willing. So I'm gonna spend a few hours with my 21 year old daughter. I don't get to see her every day because of school. She's in her third year of college, she's doing psychology, studying psychology. I'm super, super, super proud of my daughters. Both of them are in college, they're doing great. It's a lot for them, but they can do this, I know. Um, they are doing great. Both of them are on scholarship and they are going to travel, they're going to Europe. One of them is going to Europe to work and study abroad. And another, the other one is going to Shanghai, inshallah, God willing, I'm super excited so so proud of them so this is what i wanted to share today with you my beautiful sister remember stay focused stay beautiful stay hopeful never despair of the mercy of god your creator he loves you and that's why he's testing you to give you his most beloved treasure which is paradise blissful life 25 mile per hour speed limit camera ahead and eternity of blissfulness this is what you will receive once you are resurrected after death yes as muslim I 25 mile per hour speed limit camera ahead please watch your speed i believe as a muslim thank you sir <laughs> say please watch your speed in half a mile turn right onto hudson street yes as a muslim i truly believe that we are being tested and we will go either to hell or to paradise. Even Muslims will end up in hell first before going to paradise. And some will be there in hell forever. It's called Jahannam. That's the word for hellfire. That's the name of it. And I hope I'm not one of them that will go there forever. Or that will go there for just one second because it's a horrible place. You're gonna be burning and then your skin gonna be regrowing re re and burning again and then it goes all ashy and then burning all over again and it's painful because you've seen people that suffer burn red light camera ahead it's a terrible sensation feeling i got burned once um on my upper stomach part and it was so painful and that was just hot 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 water from the iron and my skin oh my goodness came out and it was so painful 
it's so painful. So can you imagine burning it? No, I can't imagine it. But you've heard stories of those people, the survivors of burning. Stay in the right lane. So, so I've heard these stories. So you can just guess that it's not pleasant at all. All right, my fabulous, beautiful. Sister. Go past this light. Then at the next one, turn right. My beautiful sister, I love you. Remember that I care about you. I'm making those videos here on my channel so I can encourage and empower you and inspire you to go out there, follow your dreams, chase your dreams, achieve your goals, and live your dream. It's possible. It is possible. It starts all in the mind. Your desire to live a better life once you have that desire you work towards it that's it take action take massive immediate action inaction is also a choice and that's what a lot of people do and that's why they are miserable they're unhappy and that's why they will never live the life that they were supposed to live if they had done what they were supposed to do. At the light, turn right onto Hudson Street. Repeat after me. I can, I will, nothing can stop 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 me. This too shall pass, whatever struggle you are facing that you are going through just keep going through it face them all one by one and you will definitely not regret it a year from now you would be in a different position you will have so much more you will have abundance you'll be healthier happier more content more satisfied a year from now everything in a quarter mile keep right onto Hudson Street everything that you are going through right now a year from now will be a thing of the past you will be even sitting down just smiling and wow I did that I went through that I did it yes I conquered my fears I conquered my shame I kick it to the curb <laughs> Do that, my beautiful sister. I love you. I'm here for you. Remember, I care about you. And I will tell it like it is. I will say things, even if it, it's not something you want to hear. I will say what you need to hear, always. You know me, I'm being me, and apologetically, as usual, as always. Okay, have a fabulous day. Remember, what does not kill you makes you stronger, which is the title of my next book. It will soon be published on Amazon. I'm almost finished. And I can't wait for you to read it. It's going to blow your mind, inspire you, and empower you. Love you, sister. Have a wonderful day. Hasta la vista. See you later. Das vidanya. That's bye in Russian.